window air conditioner freeze up on me here and I changed the air filter. And I thought I'd just take a quick opportunity to tell you the most often causes of an air conditioner unit that's freezing up. The number one most often cause is a door hatch that's come open uh, so the airflow is not being pulled across the coils properly. And so with reduced airflow, you'll get a unit freeze up. Now this is a window unit, so this one doesn't have a door, uh, like a blower door, uh, but uh, that situation happens with traditional air conditioners when the, if a service door comes open and then you're not pulling enough air across. Second cause can be a really dirty filter, which was the case here. If the filter is extremely dirty, then you're not able to get airflow across the coils again and the unit can freeze up in that area. Uh, the third most common would be dirty coils themselves. Those can be cleaned with it like an environmentally friendly coil cleaner um, or a no rinse coil cleaner where you just spray it on and it, and it dissolves the dirt, washes it down the condensate pan, mixing with the condensation on the evaporator. Or you can take the unit down and clean it all out to make sure you have good airflow through the unit. Uh, the next most common cause is a low refrigerant charge. If the refrigerant charge is too low, the coil starts getting colder than, than 32 degrees. You, you, ideally, you want the coil to be about 40 degrees. Water freezes at 32 degrees, so being at 40 degrees, you're removing heat from inside the unit and you're getting your temperature change, 15 to 20 degree split over a time span of 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, is going to be your ideal. But anyway, those are the most common causes of an air conditioner unit that's freezing up. It's really easy to melt it down. The best way is just to turn the unit's fan on, just to fan on, just the fan on, on, and that will cause the water as it melts to be more hugged and drawn towards uh, the evaporator coil and run down into the pan. If you just turn the unit off to defrost, the water can just drop straight down or is more inclined to just drop straight down. This is especially true on a slant coil, um, but just turning the fan on on, it'll defrost the ice faster and um, generally will prevent less water from falling outside of the pan. Uh, you may kind of want to monitor the situation to make sure your condensate pan line is able to keep up with draining, but usually it's able to drain to the outside via the condensate drain. Most drains are located at a lower level than the pan itself, and that way, you know, water can flow. If you have French drains out back, uh, they have a loop over that basically drains the outside and redrains through the top loop if the French drain gets too clogged. Um, but that's a little bit more in depth. Anyway, that's the four most common causes of an air conditioner unit freezing up at the evaporator coil. Once the coil is defrosted, you'll be able to remedy the situation. Either change your air filter, clean the coil, uh, secure the blower door, or adjust the charge on the system.